Welcome back YouTube to the channel Iron Sharpens Iron Big Guns here. Uh, just a little short video. Uh, hopefully it doesn't run long. I just want to keep it short and simple. Uh, I just want to revisit the uh, uh, video I shot before about uh, God promised, you know, didn't promise us, you know, things would be easy. He didn't promise us a bed of roses. Uh, and as everyone knows, you know, roses have thorns. And uh, maybe we need to f remember that those thorns being poked by them could be the wake-up call God has given us to say, hey, I'm here. Let's talk. So with that said, I just wanted to uh, let you know that, uh, you know, I'm going to go through a little something in, in my life that uh, wasn't easy. And uh, it's still not easy. But with God, he can smooth anything over. Uh, as I said, you know, I'm a father of, of five natural, and I helped raise six others. Uh, they're all they're all nearly all grown. Well, all of them are grown now, except for the three little ones. And I'm going to be talking about my son that is going to be turning 19 this year. And uh, my other two daughters that are, you know, younger than him. But whenever my son was born, everything, you know, normal, perfect, God sent gift in a small package of just awesomeness. And uh, I was there for all of my children's births and each one of them is totally awesome. <clears throat> that is something, you know, you can't ever get over God's gift, the miracle of the miracle of birth. But uh, anyway, my son at two months, he uh, we were out in the yard. I was washing a truck. He had a seizure. Uh, rushed him to the ER. Uh, you know they stabilized him, and they just thought it was a, a fluke seizure. You know sometimes people just have a, have a seizure. They figured that. He got too cold because he was playing in the water and the wind was blowing that day for, you know, him being only two months old, you know, and, and playing in the water and, and you know, having a, having a good time. So uh, we were, uh, come home, you know, and all of a sudden he started having seizure after seizure. Uh, and you know we started seeking medical attention and medical advice and we come up you know he has a, a seizure disorder you know at one time we were told uh that if he lived past four years old you know we were going to be you know very lucky at that point in time you know that's whenever i got upset i blamed god i was like you know god why me why are you doing this to me you know, and, and that's not what you should do. That's, that's not what I should do, should have done. Uh, I shouldn't get mad at God, you know, and, uh, I shouldn't, you know, be praying, oh, poor, you know, poor Paxton, my son, you know, it's, you know, why did you do this to him? You know, God's, God has, doesn't have to have a reason for things that he does, but I looked at it, the more that I've, you know, came to the realization and the closer I'm getting with Lord, the Lord and stuff, you know, for years back was there's no reason for me to blame anyone. You know, God gave us a gift and my son is a, is a gift. You know, he's made the way he is perfect, just like he is. There is a message in that young man's life for other people. And uh, one of them was uh, a message to me about, you know, not being the person that starts blaming. Do the blame game. You can't just do the blame game. And, uh, you know, that actually uh, led into, you know, other things that I started thinking about uh, as being a father and... Uh, you know, needing to be there for my, my family. And I actually, uh, 
started a uh, book. It's a 33-day consecration to St. Joseph. Uh, I'm doing that with my stepson now. We challenged each other that we're going to do it. We're on day 11 right now. And uh, 33 days long. And, uh, you know, when I made the challenge... He kind of looked at me and he gave me the, uh, you know, the Iron Man eyes. He's like, okay, you know, rolled his eyes back. But now me and him, we have a tug of war over the book. Of who's going to read it first? The message, the readings for the day. Uh, we, You know, I just can't get a, enough of it. You know, it talks about, you know, St. Joseph being the protector, being the guardian, you know, being... Uh, Jesus, Jesus, earthly father and the protector of the Virgin Mary uh, and him being there for Christ as he was growing up, you know, back whenever I was young, you know, you read the nativity, you know, Joseph, Mary and Jesus, you know, and it's a miracle, you know, it's a miracle virgin birth and, you know, that's about it that you hear about Joseph. You don't really hear that much, you know. Yeah, you find out he's a carpenter. and uh, <clears throat> But if you don't know anything, I guarantee you, you get this book right here, Consecration to St. Joseph. And Don Calloway is the author. Get that book. Read about St. Joseph. Your eyes will be opened up and it will help you become the spiritual leader that you need to be, man, in your family. Uh, it's helping, it's, you know, I can learn something every day and it's, it's you know, every day is more awesome than the day before. You know, I'm just glad God gives me another day on earth so I can, uh, you know, talk to someone, you know, plant the seed uh, you know, like the video that I talked about being a good gardener, uh, you know, going back and checking on that seed, you know, it gives me the opportunity to talk and walk with people, you know, in all, all aspects of life, you know, from the riding club community to the oil field community to, you know, being at church, uh, you know, learning more and more about the religion, uh, and like I've said before, it doesn't matter what religion you are. What really matters is your walk with Christ, you accepting him as your Lord and Savior, and your continuous communication through prayer and listening. You have to listen to that still, small voice. You know, sometimes you get a tickly hairs on the back of your neck or, you know, something might not feel quite right. That could be God sitting there saying, hey, hello, we need to talk. So get somewhere quiet. Listen for that voice. Talk with God. But, you know, reading the book about being a father and, you know, back to my son's story, uh, I wasn't always there for, well, actually I wasn't there a whole lot of the time for my children as they were growing up, you know, because I thought what a father needed to do was, you know, go out, make the money. I chased the almighty dollar many, many years. And, I have missed things that I'll never get back with my children. Uh, you know, maybe the first time that they walked, you know, first time that they said, you know, daddy or mama, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll never get that back. As for birthdays, you know, I was there for every day, every birthday that every one of my children were born. I was there for the birthday. But... I can't tell you how many times I've actually been there for a birthday after that. Because, you know, a day in the day in the oil field is a day in the oil field. It doesn't matter whether it's, you know, Christmas Day, whether it's Sunday, whether it's, you know, your kid's birthday. Uh, it's, that's the way it is. But don't get caught up in chasing that almighty dollar because there's more important things in your children and your family's life. It's the spiritual need of you being a leader in that family. You need to talk to talk and walk to walk. 
of being that spiritual leader in the family. Uh, so just remember, whenever things get tough and you want to play the blame game, don't blame God. It's, it's not God doing anything to you. There's evil in this world, and it's allowed to do things against us, towards us. And what we need to do is always remember God's always there no matter what, no matter where you are. He's there for you at all times. You can't outrun him. You can't maneuver and go hide somewhere in a corner and him not see you. You know, if you were able to fall off the face of the earth and just disappear, you're not going to disappear from God. He's always there. All you have to do is, you know, look. He's there. He's walking right beside you every step of the way. So when you are at the point to where you need to talk with him, he's there to listen. Just don't take too long. This earth needs Christ. It needs God. It needs the Holy Spirit to make a movement throughout the world. But uh, like I said, you know, this, uh, this channel is called Iron Sharpens Iron. It's for men to sharpen the constitution of other men. Uh, you know, we need a brotherhood. We need that other man that, you know, we can open up to and talk to because there's sometimes you can't talk to anybody else. You know, you might not be able to talk to your wife about, you know, something happening at work because, you know, it's not the manly thing to do. You know, you're you're worried about, you know, always wanting to be a man and, you know, not letting your guard down. Well, I can guarantee you, men cry. And uh, I used to be one hard-hearted son of a gun. And, uh, you know, you couldn't make me cry. Mm-mm, not me. I didn't care. But I catch myself crying at the, at the least little things now. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I teared up the other night. We were watching a EWTN on TV. And it was a story about someone, you know, coming to Christ, and it was, you know, I I teared up over it, you know, that's just the Holy Spirit, you know, working in me, letting me know that, uh, you know, guess what, that's another conversion to Christ, it's awesome, but, you know, like I'm always going to say, the rosary, it is a mighty warrior's weapon, and continued to push the beads, always Continue, keep pushing the beads. Every time you push one of these beads and you say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. You say an amen to God and you poke Satan in the chest. So keep pulling the beads. Keep pushing the beads. Keep poking Satan in the chest. Just keep poking him until you drive him back down to for lack of a better word, driving back to hell. So, with that said, I want to uh, finish up with a very strong prayer. It's the first prayer that I learned whenever I was, you know, little. It's the Lord's Prayer. And it is a strong, strong prayer too. So, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And as it says to forgive the people that trespass against you, I'm going to guarantee you one thing. That's very hard to do. But as hard-headed as I was, still am, it can happen. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So, YouTube, thank you for listening to Iron Sharpens Iron. And, you know, big guns ramble on here. Sorry about the video being a little long. But uh, if you like what you hear, please hit the subscribe button. 
and push the little bell on the side that way you get notified whenever there might be a new video come out and uh if i could please share the channel because the only way that we're going to get christ spread throughout the world is to continue to share things about christ uh, there's other people on these youtube channels that have a lot better message than me so uh you know share their messages also and uh like i say continue to push the beads thanks youtube big gun signing out this video may god bless you and be with you throughout the day and wherever you go and keep you safe thank you very much